Hey guys, Vikas over here and today we will see how we can interact with docker container from node. We can see basic stats about it and also we can control the container like we can start or stop it. So over here I have used Portainer as the middleware between node and the docker engine and it exposes REST APIs that you can use in node to control or see the basic stats about the container. So to begin with, uh, you need to have a Portainer active installation or active container that is running on top of docker and I have this one over here and it is connected to the local docker environment you can also you know on board remote uh, the docker environment into your portainer so in portainer we just need one thing we need to have access token so that we can use the rest apis exposed by portainer do that just get into my account and over here in access token uh, block you just create a new access token okay so now let's get into node and see how we can use the rest apis exposed by portainer so you can find the complete documentation of the apis exposed by portainer you can go to either you know depending on what version you are using i am using uh, you know community edition and you can check out the apis details and all that. so one thing over here like you know if you are uh, you know executing any request on top of docker containers portainer doesn't expose any api as such it just proxies the docker uh, you know uh, engine apis in this particular endpoint so to see particular apis that you can run on top of docker engine you can follow this uh, particular page over here i'll give the link down below in the description okay now getting into mode rate over here uh, i'm using this particular flow again you will find this in the uh, description below i'll get the link to this so first thing we need to have is you know the dependencies and over here let me show you I have used two particular things. One is the Node-RED dashboard and the moment. Moment is basically to uh, format dates and uh, show in the UI in a human readable format. For that I have used. Otherwise, there is not much use of this. Uh, so, first thing we need to do is like, you know, over here I have used HTTP request nodes. And as you know, the, the portainer is running on top of SSL. Uh, so, you need to configure the SSL certificate. To do that just get into node and you know over here it create a new configuration okay and go to portainer and over here just click over here and go to certificate it's a self-signed certificate that's why it's not going uh you know secure but uh, that should do our job so now select local host over there and click export and let's say i want seven downloads close Go to node rate and over here in certificate just upload that oh sorry not certificate in ca certificate you need to upload that i have already uploaded and uh, by doing this you'll not get any ssl related errors if you have not done this then you might get ssl related errors in your request so over here what we are doing is uh, basically we have a node that configures the token and the url uh, basically server url so you can come over here into configuration and you set up the payload that is the token and server URL and basically I'm storing those into the flow okay using a couple of change nodes and this automatically runs uh, after the flow starts after 0 0.1 second so make sure you know it just makes sure that you know the token and URL set are set into the flow now we have this uh, basically that runs after the float starts you can even you know run it uh, periodically if it is needed and that basically fetches the endpoint and just shows in a drop down after you select a drop down uh, you know endpoints from drop down you will be able to select the containers that is part of the endpoint so what endpoint is basically like you know it is the environments that you have connected from your port you know so over here i have just one there is local docker so if you see over here go to environments and we'll be able to add more environments and this, those are basically considered endpoints here so as much as environments you have as many uh, you know drop down values you'll have so that's there then finally we are saving the selected container into a flow and then we are querying stats about that particular flow and also we have given a button that will enable uh, you to either start or stop the container based on the current status 
and finally you will you are getting the usage and ram usage that's displayed on the dashboard and we are requesting it every five seconds i assume yeah one thing here if you are running uh, docker on top of raspberry pi you will not be able to get ram or memory stats or blocks so for that you need to change uh, the cmd line.txt and you'll find that change whatever need uh, you know you need to do in the github repository that I have linked down below in the description that's pretty easy you just need to add a couple of flags and that should do the job if you have not done that and you are running on top of raspberry pi then um, you it might happen that you will not get the memory stats okay now let's get to the ui and over here you can see i've already this up and running so i can select the endpoint you can have multiple depending upon how many environments you have connected and in that particular environment i have this many uh, you know containers running so let's i select nginx and it shows you the current status the health then when it was started so if you want to add more you know stats and you know attributes you can certainly do that so i have here you know you can see i have only added three different labels but you can pretty much go over here and add different uh, you know other stats that you want to show and you can pretty much do that okay uh, so once you have selected the container you can change the status so let's say you know, i happen to make it shut down then you can see in docker okay let's go here Oh, sorry dashboard and you see and then this now it's, we can also make it on and that should change the status as well yep it has started Now let's check some other container like uh, let's say I want to choose the node red one and oops yeah it's data is coming so it's uh, you can see the RAM and CPU stats over here as well as different tools. Uh, so you can also add uh, you know this data into InfluxDB or any other database and you can also uh, you know present uh, the data using charts and all that so to view historic usage of resources also you might be you know interested in other attributes as such like network ios and all that file ios you can also do that pretty much so you just need to create new http nodes over here and before that i'll just say this so this and this basically you know contains all the stats and you can output other stats as well process and you know showing chart or you know um, gorgeous and all that also you can store this data as i said into InfluxDB or some other database and display that so if you're interested in videos around this like you know how to store data or how to set up portainer you can find the links below in the description so that's all with this guys i hope it may be useful for you and if so hit the thumbs up button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for videos like this see you in our next video till then goodbye